Fauci and local police fear there could be more victims. We're hearing three to five villages have been severely damaged in the Solomon Islands due to the magnitude 8 quake which struck at a depth of 33 kilometres. At this stage though poor communications are making it difficult just to get a handle on the full extent of the damage but Natasha Exelby has been speaking to the Red Cross. Within minutes, a Category 8 earthquake flattened villages and triggered a tsunami warning for the entire Pacific. There has been damage to some of the low-lying islands. Um, there is damage to some of the villages that have um, less significant infrastructure. There is continued aftershocks that uh, people are wary of. For hundreds of kilometres, thousands of people from multiple islands fled to higher ground. The damage has been contained to the Solomons. Based on the size of the earthquake, an eight uh, is a, a big earthquake that does can, uh, generally cause um, some level of impact to people, whether that be death or injury. Uh, but right now we're still gathering what numbers of uh, affected people there are. Today's earthquake triggered flashbacks to the 2007 tsunami, which killed 52 people in the Solomons among the enormous death toll. A number of our Red Cross staff that are working um, as part of that operation in 2007, um, and they are drawing on that experience right now to ascertain uh, what level of response Red Cross might need. Natasha Rexelby, 10 News.